Good morning, Barrington, and welcome back to another episode of BHS TV. I'm Prasad Fandana. And I'm Parker Henry. We've got another exciting episode for you this week, so let's get right into it. To kick things off today, let's hear a few stories from our fellow students at BHS. We greatly appreciate everyone who came in to share. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Martin Watson. I'm a senior here at Barrington High School. Hi, uh, I'm Michael Brown. I'm a sophomore at BHS. My name is Julia Samborski. I'm a senior here at BHS. My name is Elena Rodriguez, and I am a senior. We moved halfway through sophomore year. When I was four years old, uh, my father unfortunately passed away. Art has been like a big thing for me because I've it's really been a place where I've been able to project a lot of my feelings, like these other aspects of myself that I'm not allowed to be, or I don't allow myself to be in the company of other people. I was born with a rare cancer called neuroblastoma, and I was very sick for the first 10 years of my life. For the first like month or two, I think that's like the loneliest I've ever been. I didn't know him very well, but I knew that he was probably the best dad I could ask for. Very little memories I have of him. He was always very kind. He was always very loving. He wanted the best for me in everything I did. I remember sitting on his lap when he would drive the car and tell me I was driving, and I always thought that was really cool. When I was 10 years old, I was really interested in animation and cartoons. Not in like, as like a productive way, but more as in like I watched them all the time. I spent a lot of time in the hospital for chemo, tests, and many surgeries throughout my childhood. Back in Utah, where I, I moved from, I used to talk to everyone. I, I, I had plenty of friends, I was happy. And then here, I just, I couldn't get myself to talk to people. It was weird. My mom was devastated. She was very depressed for a very long time. I personally didn't know how to deal with it. It caused me a great deal of pain. I refused help from anyone because I didn't want people to think that I was weak. And then it culminated into me thinking, oh, hey, I could be a cartoonist, an animator. I can make stuff that I'd actually want to watch, which led to me doing like years of research on various productions. My cancer eventually led to a very rare autoimmune condition, causing my immune system to attack my brain. Eventually, someone invited me to try out tech, technical theater, which is kind of like backstage crew. What it would be like to have my own dad and how my life would be different, definitely a cause for a lot of anger I had. I was very violent for a while. As a child, I've gotten a lot of fights. In a way, it's a lot like acting, except I have to make acting through everything. Like, it's not just character acting, but I have to figure out how the scenery works and the backgrounds and how this certain thing moves. And it just fills the world with so much life. I started having hundreds of seizures a day by the time I was eight. So I showed up one day and I met Amy Jessup Tilford, who's now my boss and someone I'm really close to. It does get better. One of the hardest things, but probably the most beneficial thing that's ever happened to me. Through all this time, I've been able to make friends who are interested in the same stuff that I am, which has been really amazing for me, because for a long time, I've just kind of been wandering around like this little weirdo, just doing my stuff, and I love it a lot. My doctors performed four major brain surgeries to stop the seizures. The surgeries were success successful, and while many tasks remain hard for me, I am extraordinarily lucky because the odds have been against me my whole life. I felt like I found a community right away. The people were just really welcoming. I felt right at home immediately. I never thought I would be a theater kid, ever. Um, in the movies, the theater kids are always like the weirdos, but uh, I guess they're my weirdos now because of the fact that I see the damage it does when you make reckless decisions. You're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting others. You've got to look on the bright side and see that you can't really change what's happened in the past. But it's been nice to know that if you're interested in something, there are often other people who are interested in it too. And if you do some things together, eventually you guys will just find each other. Now I'm healthy, but the feeling of being different is still with me as I grow older. I think in high school, the most important thing is to find your community. If you're growing, then that's the best thing that can come from a negative experience. You can't just take all the negatives from a negative experience and wallow in them, and you can't dwell on it because when you dwell on things of that nature, it can only bring you to a worse place than you're in. But I have learned one thing. Everyone feels a little different, and it is okay to be who you truly are. Everyone is special, and everyone has a story.
Once again, I want to thank everyone who came onto the show to share their stories. Remember that at BHS, everyone has a story to tell, so don't be so quick to judge. Next up, let's send it to Riley Trapp to give us an update on sports at BHS. First up is Bronco Wrestling. We had three wrestlers placed in the state tournament. Kai Conway received fourth in the 160-pound division. Luke Rasmussen received second in the 170-pound division. And Evan Roper received third in the 220-pound division. Congratulations to all the wrestlers and good luck as they prepare for team sectionals and team state. Next up is Broncos Swimming and Diving, who had Griffin O'Leary, Daniel Langloyd, Jack Hoppy, and Sean UGA, who all broke school records in the 200-meter medley and the 400-meter free relay. Congratulations to the boys and good luck as they all qualified for state. Griffin O'Leary in the 100 meter backstroke, Jack Hoppy in the 100 meter breaststroke, Sean UGA qualified for the 100 meter free, and Daniel Langlois qualified for the 500 meter free. And all four qualified for the 400 meter free relay, as well as the boys qualifying for many other events, so congratulations to all of them. Next up is Phillies basketball, who recently won the IHSA regional title by beating McHenry. Also, the Phillies had Shauna Trashinsky advance to the sectionals for the three-point contest. So good luck to the Phillies as they prepare for sectionals. Next up is Bronco basketball, who lost to Friend by a score of 39-33. to The boys played Rolling Meadows yesterday. At the time of this recording, the decision of that game has yet to be decided. The Broncos' next game will be in the playoffs, so good luck to the whole team. Next up is the gymnastics team who had Elena Riemann Schneider receive sixth place for her balance beam act in the state competition, so congratulations. Real quick before we go, the girls track team won the Indoor York Invitational, so congratulations to them. That's all we have for this week, BHS. As always, I'll see you next week and back to the studio. Thank you so much, Riley. I'm so excited to see what's to come. And now let's send it over to Dee Dee Bruces to get you in the know. What's up, Barrington? I'm Dee Dee Bruces, and it's time to get you in the know. Hope Sin is a local nonprofit that raises money to help impoverished communities in Guatemala City, and they have a fundraiser coming up soon. The fundraiser is a fashion show that is taking place Sunday, March 8th from 1 to 4 p.m. at Avante Banquet Hall in Fox River Grove. You can buy tickets online or at the door. And if you want to get involved, visit their website, hopes.org, for more information. Today is push day for Dance Marathon. They're raising 2K in just one day. Come to Meatheads from 5 to 9 or donate to a board member to support. You can also register on their website or click the link on their Instagram at BHS Dance Marathon. Are you interested in engineering? Attend a career check to visit UOP Honeywell on Monday, March 16th to tour their research facilities and talk with engineers about their careers. See Mrs. Marabella and Student Services for more information. Come get cozy at the high school this Friday with Movie Night. Girl Effect is hosting the live action Beauty and the Beast in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Admission is free and you have the chance to enter raffles, win prizes, or donate to the Girl Effect Barrington cause. Don't forget to dress in PJs. That's all for this week, Barrington. I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and now you're in the know. That's all we've got for this week, Barrington. I'm Parker Henry. And I'm Prasad Pantano. We hope you have a great rest of your week, everyone.